I want to talk about some aspect of Islam that a lot of people forget about. And my friend, Gata, he reminded me of this subject tonight. Islam, which, as all of you know, means peace and submission to Allah. This is what it means. But it carries important connotations for us, concepts, an overall understanding. What is the understanding of Islam? So when Islam comes, it brings two important ingredients. What are the ingredients? The first one is haq. What is haq? In Arabic, rights. This is the rights that everybody has. Everybody gets rights uh, from Islam. Haq Allah. That's the first one, which means Allah's right that you cannot worship anybody except him and you cannot worship anybody with him. This is the first haq in Islam, number one. The second haq or rights in Islam is Muhammad or Rasulullah. It means when Rasul sallallahu tells you something has a meaning in Quran, you accept it. When he shows you the way, then you accept this way. So he has the right. What's the next right? The next right after Allah or Rasulhi is the haq of your ummi, your mama. Because the Rasul Sallallahu was asked the question, who after Allah and his messenger has the most haq on me? Who has the most rights after Almighty God and you? Meaning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know what he said? Your mama. They said, and then who? He said, your mother. He said, and then who? Your mother and then your father. So we see this is how the order of the haq comes. We learn from this hadith, number one is Allah. Number two is Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then your parents. Very important is the haq or the rights of the parents. And this is important for us to know in the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us the order of rights. And he mentions it more than one time, by the way. He talks about it in the Quran. First is to worship Allah without any partners, to obey the Rasul, ati Allah wa ati Rasul. But then he mentions about your family, the rights to your parents, and don't kill your children. Don't kill your children because you're afraid they're going to compete with you for the food or something like this. Yes? And then he orders you not to take the life of an innocent person. That's the order that it comes in. Now look, it means everybody has rights. You can't kill people in Islam. You can't do that. No innocent person can be killed. Allah said it in the Quran, yes? But guess what? I'm a student also of the Bible, Kitab al-Maqdis, for 48 years. And I know it's the same exact order in the Bible. It is. If you look in the Bible, they don't really have the Bible anymore. They have translations only. But if you look, chapter 20, book of Exodus, or the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, you go and you look, guess what it says? The same thing. First, you cannot have any partners with the Allah. This is what it says. Second, no senum, no statues, no idols. Third, Allah's names. You can't use Allah's names in a bad way. Okay. Fourth, you have to, have to remember the Sabbath. Sabbath. The Saturday, you can't work. You have to keep it like honorable or holy for Allah. Like Juma is for us. Except we only have one hour, they have the whole 24. <laughs> but anyway, then your parents. The same as Islam. Then after Allah's rights, the parents' rights. 